Hello, my name is Dr. Amanda Bonikowski, Program Director of the Cardiac Rehabilitation Program at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today we're here to share with you our experience as we transition from a primarily center-based program to a completely home-based cardiac rehabilitation program. So as we all know, cardiac rehabilitation is an essential part of a patient's recovery that includes multidisciplinary therapies known to help patients recover from heart disease or heart surgery and reduce their chances of future heart-related problems. Unfortunately, at this time, in-person center-based cardiac rehabilitation programs are being closed to help reduce the chance of COVID-19 spread. Mayo Clinic's cardiac rehabilitation program is now offering all new and existing patients an entirely non-face-to-face -face, or what we call a home-based program. Home-based cardiac rehabilitation is a solution to help provide cardiac rehabilitation to patients with heart disease in a home setting and to help them survive and thrive during this challenging period of time. So why is home-based cardiac rehabilitation so important? First of all, it assures that patients with heart disease continue to receive life-saving cardiac rehabilitation services. It also helps improve the chances of these patients with heart disease to stay healthy and stay out of the hospital to keep those beds available for patients who may be infected with COVID-19. Home-based cardiac rehabilitation also allows for physical distancing while still providing high quality cardiac rehab care. Additionally, through home-based cardiac rehabilitation, we can continue to reinforce smoking cessation as this appears to make individuals more susceptible. So in brief, a home-based cardiac rehabilitation program can help patients with heart disease feel better, do better, and live longer. Now you're going to hear from a couple of our staff members about their experience and how they have transitioned to a completely home-based program. Thank you, and we're here to help. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm one of the clinical exercise physiologists at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Roughly two weeks ago, our group was challenged to convert our current practice to a completely non-face-to-face -face program while still maintaining a relationship with our patients. Through staff and physician discussion, we established our guidelines and put into practice our new program. Next, you'll hear from Adam about the specifics of our home-based program. Hi, my name is Adam and I'm a clinical exercise physiologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. And I wanna spend just a few minutes reviewing our workflow and some of the specifics for our home-based cardiac rehabilitation program. And so it is 13 weeks in duration. This is comprised of an enter consult performed by one of our nurses, 12 additional weekly phone calls by our clinical exercise physiologists, and it finishes up with a consultation with our uh, doctor or nurse practitioner. So we'll take you through the workflow a little bit more specifically so you have an idea of what we're doing. So the enter consult is done entirely over the phone as are the rest of our appointments. And so as with any enter consult, this is the opportunity to complete all the information in the ITP as able. We're documenting medications, of course their medical history, any questions or concerns that they have so that we can formulate a plan of action to go from there. Uh, we're fortunate in that we have our online messaging system where we're performing the majority of our education and also collecting of documents such as questionnaires. So that is one assessment that we still are able to perform. All of the education that we would typically give patients is being sent electronically right to the patient's medical record where they can access it. We're also using, in place of traditional written materials, the Cardiac College website, and perhaps we can insert a link here and that's facilitated through Toronto online learning platform, which has been really helpful for us and you might find it to be useful as well. Uh, in terms of other assessments, all we're really focusing on is heart rate, if they're able to check it at home, blood pressure, blood glucose for appropriate candidates, of course, and then also weight. So we're really only focusing on these other assessments such as walk tests, VO2s, body composition, we're of course not focusing on at this time. All right, so thereafter, we're scheduling patients out right away for all of their appointments so that they're on the books, there aren't any questions for when they're supposed to call in or be called, anything like that. It's there, ready to go. So from there on out, we have 12 weekly 
scheduled phone visits and the patients can look at these directly on their, on their patient portal. And so what we're doing is we're having patients meet with their respective case managers. We have three teams. Each team has about four clinical exercise physiologists. And so each phone call is only 30 minutes in duration. And just to alleviate any potential issues, all of our phone calls are starting out with a short script that essentially states the purpose of our telephone call is to discuss exercise related questions and concerns only. Any other topics that you might be interested in discussing should be directed towards your healthcare team. Of course, at this time, we're receiving a lot of questions regarding the COVID-19 virus, and we have a standardized statement that we're sending to our patients uh, via the messaging system, just try to try to alleviate those up front. So in any case, the message essentially says, if you experience anything like chest pain, lightheadedness, dizziness, any of those uh, unusual signs during exercise, stop right away and consult with your healthcare team right away. If they tell us any signs or symptoms that are indicative of clinical instability, we're telling them to call 911 and not us, of course. So other standard things that we're reviewing during each of the phone calls, again, it's a script. We're touching on their medications. If they have questions and if they're taking them on schedule, we're asking what they've been doing for exercise and what questions they have regarding that. We're asking them to identify goals, ideally, that will encompass the next week worth of time and then also what they're doing to accomplish goals that they have already set. As with an on-site program we are still performing our reviews uh, to the best of our ability with what information we have at our disposal so that we're still able to have these signed off so that we're compliant with regulatory guidelines. And very important we are still sending updated exercise prescriptions to our patients along with the reviews, again, in their online messaging system. In terms of referrals and other specialty consultations, we're still having our patients meet with our registered dietitians, just in a non-face-to-face -face format, over the telephone as well, and other, other referrals are being approached on an as-needed basis. All patients will finish up with a consultation with, as I mentioned, an MD, or one of our nurse practitioners to make sure that we're addressing the progress that they've made, setting a plan of action and where to go from there, and again just trying to make sure that they feel as though they've been uh, well taken care of, not forgotten throughout the process of this COVID-19 virus, and making sure they're well on their way to taking care of themselves. In summary, our priority as cardiac rehabilitation staff is to make sure that all cardiac patients are not being forgotten during this uncertain time. Here in Rochester, we are offering a 13-week home-based program to local and non-local patients. This program is supported by physicians, nurse practitioners, nurses, clinical exercise physiologists, and dietitians. The staff here at the Mayo Clinic are not only here to help the patients, but we are here to help other facilities. If you feel that our program can help yours, please email the address below with any questions and or concerns. We are here to help.